I met Dana freshman year of college. We became friends. First, like, initial reaction was just always having fun with him. Like, we never didn't laugh. We never had a bad time. It was just always fun. It was just a really great friendship. I started talking to her, I was like, oh, she's really pretty. I was like, I'm gonna start talking to her. And it kind of like, you know, from there, then I was like, but like the first 20 minutes I knew her, she was kind of sitting behind me. I didn't really, you know, think anything of it. But then after we got out of the car, I was like, all right, this, I gotta, I gotta turn something on here. <laughs> and when he texted me, I was like, come out, like we need to go out, come into the city, let's go get dinner. There was no like hesitation. I've had this feeling like for a really long time, like she's always remained friends, it was always more than that. We were always, I mean, I think we had a backup plan from when we were 18, it was like, if we're 40, we're getting married, you know, like the backup plan. I think we had that, I think my first text was, I'm still sing, I'm still not married, and I think hers was like the same thing. It was like, all right, we got 10 more years to wait, and I just don't think we did it. <laughs> Dana, I can't wait to be your husband. Since the moment we met, I always know this is how it would end. Even with all the years we spent apart, in the back of my mind, I knew that you were mine. It makes me so happy that after all these years, my subconscious was right and I get to marry my best friend. I love you so much and always will, Matt. Mm. Really sweet. Matthew, can't wait to be your wife. Such a great responsibility comes with being a wife, which makes me nervous. Nervous I will fail or fall short because we both know I tend to fall a lot. But then I remember the man I'm marrying and all my nervousness disappears. A man who loves me freely and is never judgmental. A man who will make me laugh when I'm not in the laughing mood. Who accepts my beautiful and impeccable singing skills. And who will watch the same sitcom over and over again with me. A man I can't wait to marry. But most importantly, someone who became my friend 10 years ago and still accepts me for me and wants to be my husband. Ready for our dance? Ready for our dance? Want practice? No crying. Let me no crying. No crying. <laughs> you no cry. You ready? I am ready. Can't wait to take the next step in our journey. Our reconnection and relationship has believed in fate, and in the words of Phoebe Buffet, you are my lobster. Love you more and more every day. Love always, Dana. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. You look so nice. Oh my god. <laughs>looking forward to starting a family with Matt. We both have a really good foundation. Both of our families are incredible. They both blessed us with amazing families and I think we're ready to start our own. Most people think of weddings or marriage as bringing two people together. I like to think of it differently and say it's really bringing two families together. Because over the course of their planning for this wedding we got to meet the Granitelle families Graziano's in the mix of the two, so it's really bringing two families together, so we want to thank them for that. words of wisdom for being married for 33 short wonderful years is always be true to yourself remember that on Dana's uh, wedding not page it said our first last date remember that excitement that you had that day cherish every moment embrace every day congratulations patient, love is kind. Love is not jealous, it's not hunters, it's not inflated, it's not rude, it's not sick, it's not interest, it's not quick temperature, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoice with the truth, it bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never, ever fails.
let you know that I love you more than anything in the world and I am more than excited to walk down the aisle and marry you today. We're gonna have a beautiful family, we're gonna enjoy our honeymoon and our future. I just can't wait, it looks so bright and I love you. I'm up here getting ready for the final, uh, final couple hours here. Looking forward to today, everything looks great. We're gonna have a great day ahead of us, the rest of our lives, it's gonna be great. Love you. Hi Matthew, take you Dana to be my wife. I promise to be true to you, in good times and bad, in sickness and health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I Dana, take you Matthew to be my husband and I give myself to you as my wife. <laughs> I promise to be true to you, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. The wealthy couple, the newlywed couple, they are Mr. and Mrs. Cranetel. For the last couple of months, I could not picture how today would be. But I definitely knew one thing for sure. Dana would make a beautiful bride. Matt and Dana, we have had many great times together, and I'm looking forward to many, many more. I know today I did not lose a sister, although I've been trying to for a couple years now. <laughs> but I gained a brother. Could everyone now please raise their glass to help me celebrate the new Mr. and Mrs. Granitelle? Love you both. Before I get started, I got to clear something up. For those of you who were in the, the ceremony and you, you were waiting a little bit longer than, than maybe you thought you should have, it's because I didn't have the rings. Dana, when she really made a striking impression on me, it was at a family party. So I show up, I'm saying hi to everybody, and she just hands me a big plate of food. She said, I, I figured you'd be hungry when you got here. And uh, she was right, I was starving. I knew right away that, I, that I, I liked her. She was fun to hang out with, really easy to talk to, just got along well with everybody. Dana, Matt's very lucky to have you. I'm glad you're part of my life too. Welcome to the family. How many people here have ever competed against Matt in something? Show of hands. Put your hand back up in the air if you, you beat Matt and he tried to lie about the score, uh, change a rule, called you a cheater, maybe even cried. Hands up. Yeah. If, if you didn't raise your hand there, you either haven't known him long enough or you're lying. What can I say? I'm really happy for you. And uh, here's to Matt and Dana. Cheers. <laughs> 